GunSpot is an online listing and auction site for both new and used firearms, accessories, and more. They refuse to increase the rates, unlike GunBroker. GunSpot.com is the newest website improving the Second Amendment listing and auction space, connecting buyers and sellers in a way they will both love. Buyers will get great deals and never pay out-of-state sales tax or any hidden fees unlike some other auction sites. Sellers get their own GunSpot store space to showcase their items to thousands of prospective buyers with the lowest valuation on sales in the industry of only 1%. Check them out at GunSpot.com. Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're going to do another windshield penetration video. I've done this before, but I've never done it with 22 long rifle. So that's what we're going to do today. I have this windshield that's all set up. We'll take a look at that. But the ammo that I'm going to use is Federal 36 grain copper plated hollow points. There it is, 22 long rifle, very common round. The handgun I'm using is a kel P17, all right? So we're going to check it out today. I'm going to go back about seven yards, but before we do that, let's take a look at the windshield, how it's set up, what I'm trying to accomplish here, and then we'll do the test. All right, so this is the windshield. I had this taken out of my Ford Explorer, had my windshield exchanged. I took this with me so that I could do this test. It has a couple minor cracks in it i don't think it's so much that it would distract from the integrity of the test but when i set this up i tried to put it at the same angle as it would sit in a vehicle perhaps a little more tilted but i think that is a good representation of a windshield it's being held by shepherd's hooks in the back and what i have here is a painted black iron target that i'm going to shoot at and we'll take a look. That's going to represent somebody driving this vehicle. And we're going to shoot at that and see if the bullet is altered or if it is straight through like butter. We'll see. I'm not sure. I think it may be altered a little bit, especially because they are 36 grain copper plated hollow points. But I think it's set up properly. I'm going to head back about seven yards and we'll take a few shots and see what happens seven yards back i've got the keltec p17 36 grain copper plated hollow points shooting at a bit of an angle let's see what happens definitely safety glasses you never know what's going to come back at you especially with glass here we go All right, that last one, I heard a ting. Here's what we're looking at. There are the three shots, rather close, but I did not hear a ping the first time. We'll have to see when I edit this video, but this is what we're looking at with the target. I took the target off so we could take a closer look. Here are Two shots for sure, possibly three. You can see those are on top of each other. There are some other markings. Those could be remnants of the glass or from the hollow point. Or the hollow point carrying some glass in and then dislodging, hitting the target, making a mark on the paint. But let me back up a little further, see if we can do this again, and I'll shoot at some fresh glass. All right, so we're now 11 yards from the windshield, 12 yards from the target, three more shots with the Keltec P17. We'll go one-handed here, safety off, and let's see what happens. Straight on. Heard the ting, and heard the ting again. All right, seemingly went through. I had my ears on. You may have heard the ting before I did. But I did hear two out of three. Let's check it out. And here are the three shots. One, two, three. And we'll look. We can see the impact is similar to the first three. All right, no surprise there. Same ammo, but a little further back with these three shots. But all three went through. This is what you're looking at from your vehicle. You can see that there's a whole bunch of glass remnants all over the place. One of the things I always do is check the dirt 
to see if there's any marking of a missed target. And I see none. So if I come over here, I may have to take this off again. You can see that there are, I think these two are right on top of each other. I'll show a closer look here. And then there's that one over there. So the conclusion of this test is that yes, a 22 long rifle will make its way through a windshield, no problem. Did I know that? Yes, I think I did. I did enough windshield tests to figure that out. Did I test it? No, but now I did today. And it's a fact, 22 long rifle is no comparison to a windshield. I hope you found this video educational. Hope you found it entertaining. I saw zero alter, alteration with the direction of the bullet. I think it went straight through the glass like butter. So be careful out there. And now I have a mess to clean up. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.